Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on technical thing by Shravan Kumar Mantri. So in my previous video lecture, I discussed about the concept of pointers with single dimensional arrays. That is without taking a special pointer variable and with taking a pointer kind of variable, how we can represent the values in, in an array we have seen. Now we'll go for two dimensional arrays. So how two dimensional arrays can be represented with pointers and uh, uh, how we can take with double pointer and single pointer also we'll see. So let us take an example of uh, an array declaring with two dimensional like I have taken three rows four columns. These are the values. So totally three rows four columns means 12 values. So how the values can be stored if I take two dimensional array it starts from zero that's why the index starts from b of 0 0. So b of 0 0 which is equals to 5 like this. So if what is b of 0 1 which is 10 like this we have to take. Let us suppose if I ask you what is b of 2 3. It's not like second or third column. Why? Because index starts from 0. That means 0 0 means first row first column. 2 3 means third row fourth column. What is third row here? Fourth column means 60. So the value will be 60 here. So like this what about b of 1 1. 1 1 means second row second column. So second row second column 30. So like this. What if if I ask you that is the value 55. So what about 55 which is inside third row and third column no? Which I can say that b of 2 2. So 2 2 means index starts from 0 no? So that's why third row third column. So third row third column that's why b of 2 2 is equals to 55. So like this it will be stored. Now I'm printing without taking an extra pointer variable you can see I have written here pointer pointer b what it will print anyway we know b of 0 0 what it will print 5 then what about this one pointer pointer b so which is indirectly equals to pointer of pointer of b means which is indirectly equals to pointer of b plus 0 plus 0 so that means pointer of b plus 0 that means b plus 0 can I write it as b of 0 like this so which is equals to b of 0 0 so first inside this index represent the row here this index column like this it will be represented so let us suppose if I say how to represent b of 2 3 b of 2 3 means it can be represented as pointer of so b of 2 3 which can be represented as pointer of again pointer of b plus 2 plus 3 these braces are very important so if you keep this brace here this you will get some other output which is so which is not equals to b of 2 3 so like this we need to consider and this is b of 2 3 like this and what about this one you can see here I have written pointer of pointer of b plus 1 so how you can represent pointer of pointer of b plus 1 so simply I'll add 1 0 here so which will become which will become b of 1 0 what is b of 1 0 1 0 means second row first column so which is equals to 25 anyway I'll execute this one and I'll show you what about this one pointer of pointer of b plus 2 plus 2 so which is indirectly equals to b of 2 2 so b of 2 2 what is the value third row third column 55 now what about if I want this is second row first column what about first row second column that means let us suppose if I want to print b of 0 1 b of 0 1 which is equals to actually 10 so how to represent pointer of pointer of b plus 0 plus 1 so like this we need to represent so this is what the representation you can get and you can see we can see the output also how this will be printed and before that we'll see how we can represent in one dimensional also you can see here I have taken b of 3 4 I have taken only one pointer variable that is one thing is dimensional I've taken and now r equals to ampersand b of 0 0 that means what it will assign it is assigning the base address of b that means that means let us suppose it starts from something like 3000 so what is our value which is equals to 3000 so now you can see what is pointer r 
pointer r means what is the value inside the r r value is 3000 what is inside 5 so here it will print 5 now what about r plus 1 will it print r of 1 0 or b of 1 0 no here that means it takes in sequential that means this is r this is r plus 1 this is r plus 2 this is r plus 3 now what about 25 which is r plus 4 like this it will consider so this is r plus 5 r plus 6 r plus 7 is equals to 40 that means pointer pointer of r plus 1 which is equals to 10 like this pointer of r plus 2 which is equals to 15 like this let us suppose if i ask you what is pointer of r plus 6 what is r plus 6 1 2 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 which is 35 now here it is asked what is r of 10 which is r plus 10 so what is pointer of r plus 10 you can see so this is 6 7 8 9 10 so r plus 10 which is 55 which is also equals to you can represent it as r of 10 so these are all representations if you consider in terms of two dimensional array if you take with a pointer variable this is with a pointer variable this is without taking a pointer variable so like this we can represent anyway we'll see these two whether we'll get the same answers or not with execution we'll see so here the first one you can see i've taken the same thing like b of 3 4 all the values i have taken now i have to print in the first row that is in the seventh line the line number seven you can see pointer pointer b and b of 0 0 both should be printed as 5 why because pointer pointer b means which is equal to b of 0 0 both are 5 5 unit to print what about this one ninth line pointer of pointer of b plus 1 which is b of 1 0 i told you that means second row first column which is 25 and the next one b of pointer of pointer of b plus 2 plus 2 which is b of 2 2 which is 55 so we'll see that output so you can see 5 5 25 and 55 so like this remember and don't confuse here if i say b of 2 2 means don't go for these the first row and this is the second row like this so you have to check it out index starts from 0 so 0 it row so first 0 it row you have 5 10 15 20 first row you have 25 30 35 40 second row you have 45 50 55 60 like this you need to consider so this is what the execution if you consider for the two dimensional array with respect to pointer without taking any extra pointer variable now you can see by taking a pointer variable i told you r equals to base address i assigned now you can see what is pointer r that is on the tenth line you can see pointer r means which is equals to b of 0 0 that is 5 it has to print what about r plus 1 i told you 10 what is r of 10 that means continuously you have to check it out what is the 10th value in the sequence so first row four values you have second row five, five six seven eight third row of course it starts from zero now so 10th value means that is 55 you can see so that is what 5 10 55 you can see the output so you like this you can get the output so this is about the execution of how you can go for pointers with two dimensional arrays and in the next we will see some programs with respect to pointer arithmetic thank you